What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Mikaelin for Mac on the Mic. Today we're gonna to be doing a tier list of the music in Backyard Baseball. So here we have our tier list. These are all of our players. I have the playlist of music geared up. We're just gonna be picking a player at random from this pile and listening to the music and ranking it. Uh, I'm gonna be ranking this on a criteria based on how I like it. This is a personal opinion thing. This is just for fun. Um, so don't destroy me in the comments and be like, ah, just send this music is the best. Why would you give it a C? This is just for me. This is just for fun. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly how random I can make it. We're gonna just select. I think you just click somebody and then they and then you just pick them. I don't want to pick the guy at the top, but maybe we'll have to pick Mikey at the top. I don't know who's down here. Can we pick you? There we go. We got one. Huzzah! We got Maria Luna. Okay, let's listen to her tunes. Oh, I dig. Yeah, I dig. I kind of want to be a conservative B for right now, just for the first pick, but we're going to put her on the cusp of an A. I actually really dig this tune. Yeah, okay, that was sweet. All right, moving on. Who's the next one? All right, we're going to go with Billie Jean Blackwood. She she just needed to be picked. Let's see how uh, how her music is. Okay, some like real staccato-y accordion bits. Very Eastern European vibe. Okay, with maybe a little, a little southern, a little southern twang. I, it's all right. That's that's decent. I'm gonna give it a C. I'm gonna give it a C. I don't I don't think it really fits the baseball vibe, but that's uh, that's okay. It fits your vibe, and that's all that matters, Billy Jean. Okay, moving up next. Who do we got picking at random? We got. Annie Fraser. Annie Fraser is a lot of people's uh, a lot of people's sneaky MVPs in this game. So let's see how her music stacks up. To a slower one. Oh. Sort of like an American version of uh, of Pablo's. Starts slow, but then gets vibing. Well, it took us all the way to the end. It captured our attention for 35 seconds at least. I'm gonna give that a, I'm gonna give that a B as well. I think that we're starting to establish. I, I like that. I like that Luna and Fraser are both in the Bs. I think that sets a good, you know, a, a good a good bar for us to to have something push into an A. But we'll we'll see how much of this music uh, pierces us as we continue to push through. Who do we got next? We got one of the twins. We got Ashley Weber. All right, what is she what is she working with? Oh, marching band music. Yeah. I mean, it's solid, but I think that's a C all day. I don't know. Yeah, a little contrived. Not as original as some of the other ones, so actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna saucer down to a D. This one's just like super unoriginal, which I'm not blaming them for. They had to come up with so many different tracks, but that one is definitely like, oh no. We skipped forward back to, at least we already heard that one. That was Billy Jeans. Okay, uh, let's pick another person at random. Can we pick that guy out of the pile? There we go, Dante Robinson. What do you sound like? Ooh, okay, like a reggae bit from Jamaica. The steel drum vibe is sick. I don't know, maybe I'm judging these too harshly, but I'm gonna sauce them in a B as well. I don't know. Just not quite. It's just not quite transcending to an A for me yet. And I don't know, we might only have one or two S's. Like, we'll see. And that's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. Who do we got next? Boom, she wanted to get picked so bad. Jacinda Smith, what do you sound like? Oh, I know this. I know this one, because she's on the squad. I hit dingers to this music. I don't want to be a little biased, but try and not be biased. This one is sick, though. Like, this is... 
But like for the time? Oh, I don't know. I got to give it an A, dude. That ending, we'll see. We might we might go back to some of these A's and B's as I flip Jacinda out here. We might go back to some of these A's and B's, but I don't know. Maybe it's because she's on my squad. I got to give her an A for right now. All right, who's next? Moving on, we got Kenny Kawaguchi. Oh my goodness. Okay, no, this is... This is an A borderline S after the first six seconds. Like for somebody that never hits home runs... Oh, uh, actually, I don't know. The beginning's really tight. I think this is definitely okay. Like maybe we'll, maybe a soft day. I don't know. A little hammy on the guitar here, but it fits the vibe, right? You have to remember 1997. Yeah, that's a. I mean, come on, that's a sick track. That's a sick track. I think that's an A all day. Um, okay, who's next? Vicky Kawaguchi. All right, we're gonna go right to his sister. See how hers compares. Hold on, hold on. There's like a time signature change there. Two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, four, two, three, one, 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 two. It just goes hat double time. But I don't think it executes on that properly. Even with a mild musical analysis, I don't know, Vicky Kawaguchi, I think that that may have been a swing and a miss, much like you are privy to in the game. We're going to drop you down to a D. And we're just going to move on quickly. All right, who's next? We got Amir Khan. Amir Khan is a 50-second track. Oh, my goodness. He's not even on my squad, but... This is... Yeah, well, it's the same as... Isn't this the same as Ahmed's? I don't know. I'll have to get there. But this is... Yeah, this track is dope, man. This track is sick. I feel like this part's the same as Ahmed's. Yeah, that's a, that's a dope track all the way through. All right. All right, boom. We, we grabbed him right there. Let's bring him to the top. This might be the first S, guys. I know this music well. It's just so good. Let's give it a listen. Like, all it needs is a sick... Right? Like, it just needs that, and I think you could drop a sick freestyle to this. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just... It's hard to be, you know, non-biased with the guys on my team or the players I play a lot with or the music I've heard a bunch, but Mikey Thomas, there's just something about that. And it and it grew on me so much more the past, like, few weeks of playing this game. But I'm going to sauce him into the S tier, at least for right now, because, I mean, that music's just so good. All right, let's see, let's see what we got next. Who are you? Sally Dobbs. <laughs> Okay, that's S tier hardcore, not even joking. I, that's like a legit piece of music. That's a legit, like that could be in Mrs. Doubtfire. Like that's that good. <laughs> that could be, that could be in the score of Mrs. Doubtfire. My boy Hans Zimmer, what's up? Not Hans Zimmer, sorry. My boy Howard Shore, what's up? Uh, so yeah, that song slapped. I don't think I'd ever heard that one before. So I'm glad that my I'm being a little bit more nonpartisan because I don't even know who Sally Dobbs is. But man, that music was sick. All right, who do we got next? Oh, this guy, Marky Dubois, is how I believe you would say that. I am Canadian, so I would I would say Dubois, uh, but I'm not sure what Marky maybe doesn't look like he speaks a lot of French. I don't know. There he is. What does he sound like? A long track, 54 seconds. Oh, it's his vibe. Oh my goodness.
Like it's classic 12 bar blues, but that banjo picking is getting me going. Oh, of course. Of course you'd have a fiddle. I don't even think we need to, uh, we're listening to the rest of it, but I don't think, I don't think there's going to be much debate on this one, guys. I mean, come on. Oh, a little steel guitar too? Yeah, okay, whoever did this, they went, they went a little hard, for sure. I can almost guarantee that when they were showing, because I'm sure, maybe this was one person who did all the music, but I imagine there was a couple people that put together the music. And when they were showing everybody, like, oh, this is what we did, the guy who showed up with Marky Dubois was like, this is what I did. And everyone was like, shit, man. I didn't know we were supposed to go that hard. <laughs> all right, let's see who's next, though. We got to get through these. Oh, we got uh, Ronnie Dobbs. All right, a sibling. Another sibling here. Sally Dobbs' music was amazing. Ronnie Dobbs' music is... Okay, for a moment I thought maybe A. I think this is gonna be a B all day. A little, a, a little again, a little contrived, a little unoriginal maybe. Or maybe a little too original, I don't know. We are burning through them now, Stephanie Morgan. I hear this music lots because she's on my team, and you know what I do really like what the composer did? A very classic sort of organ feel, but like an interesting rhythm. Like it's a little bit more of a funky than a traditional sort of chant type organ. Yeah, it got like a bass bits happening. I like this. I think this is an A for sure. It both sounds familiar and original. It has, it plays to both of your ears. All right, moving on. Who do we got next? We'll go with Kimmy Ekman. 41 second track for Kimmy. Ooh, heavy bass to start. I'm vibing to it a little. It's got something. That bass is doing a lot of the heavy lifting, but I like, I like it. Yeah, that's a good way to juxtapose what we just heard, for sure. Yeah. And just do some do something easy fade out on the bass here. Nothing crazy. 100%. All right, that is, a, that is a properly put together piece of music, for sure. Kelly, you're getting an A. Kelly, Kimmy, that's your name, Kimmy. Kimmy's getting an A. Saucer in there underneath Jacinda. Well done, Kimmy. All right, who do we got next? We're going to bring over Dimitri. Okay. Definitely has a classical violin in it vibes. I'm gonna give it a B. I'm gonna give it a B. That one might hurt for some people. That might be some people's favorite. That music was pretty good. That could be an A, but I'm gonna give it a B. That's just where I am. All right, what's next? Uh, let's pull over Ernie Steele. What do you sound like, Ernie? Oh boy. Yeah. I like this for the same reason I think I like Stephanie's. I might like this just a touch more than Stephanie's, but I'm still gonna sauce him in the A. Yeah, I dig it. A for sure. All right, who's next? Mr. Garcia. Very regal. This guy demands respect. I feel like it would be a discredit to put Garcia above Dimitri. I think that's just gonna have to be a B. Sorry, bud. 
I like the music, but I, I just maybe it just doesn't fit the the backyard baseball vibe as much as I would have thought. All right, uh, what else do we got coming up? We got Angela Del Vecchio. I know the song. I've heard it. Even though I haven't, it's that type of music. You know where it's going to go, and that's fine, but it's a beat. All right, what's next? Now we are going to do Gretchen Hasselhoff. I'm not sure if I've heard this one much. Oh! What? What did I just listen to? S tier all the way. Gretchen Hasselhoff bringing it in strong. That made me feel things. That made me want to write music. That made me want to write a piece of music. That's the biggest compliment I can give you, Gretchen. That was beautiful. All right. Wow. Okay. So, okay. I'm kind of glad that three of our S tiers... I thought maybe we only have a couple, but man, those music that this music is still surprising me, and I've just been playing this game a bunch. Okay, Ricky Johnson, what do you sound like? Okay, some fun tempo work. Yeah, weird rushing and dragging on that. It gives this sense of like tension. But now we're resolving that tension. Everything's nice and tight. I get what they were going for. It's definitely not bad walk-up music for sure. I'm going to give it a B. And coming up next, let's try and get this hidden person in here. Tony Del Vecchio, that's who it is. All right, what does Tony sound like? Oh, of course I know this music. Yes, this is my guy. It is not an original piece of music. This is very much from Greece, Greece Lightning. Um, for that, it's going to be a C. He's lucky he's not a D. Um, just for that reason alone. Greece Lightning, no, Greece Lightning. Like, it's very much that song to me, so, yeah, just not that original. All right, who's next? Let's dig, uh, let's, let's do Sydney Weber here. What is Sydney Weber? See how she compares to her sister. More marching band music. I think it might be the same... Very, very similar. Yeah, we're, yeah. You, you, that's where you live. It just doesn't fit the vibe for me. It's like a foot for football, for backyard football, for sure. But for backyard baseball, I don't know. It just doesn't quite, doesn't quite hit. Maybe that's more the rubric that I am judging. Music that I enjoy, but also if this is a base. This is, you know, has to fit, fit the vibe. All right. Luna Lou. Luan Lou. Luani Lou. I should know their names better. No, no, that is what we call an exercise. That is not a piece of music. That is something that you that you have a student practice to get good at, at music. That is not, that was, there was no, I didn't like that. That wasn't musical. That was just a scale. Um, so yeah, that's a D. All right, who's next? Um, let's go to this guy here. We know him. We know him. We're running out of space. Can't even see him because he's flailing in and out of other people. But his name is Ahmed Khan. There he is. All right. What does he sound like? We know what he sounds like. Let's just listen to it again. I know his intro is pretty tight. Yeah. That intro is so good. How is it different from Amir's? Let's listen to Amir's again one more time. It's not. Yeah, okay, so it's exactly the same as Amir's. Uh, so yeah, we can't really be disrespectful of us. I wonder if the sibling, other siblings were the same too. 
We're just going to stack him right next to Amir Khan. There you go. Ahmed and Amir. All right, who's next? We're coming down to crunch time. We got Reese Worthington. Almost a minute track. I think we all know what kind of music this is. David. This is just some groovy. Yeah, this is an A. This might be an S, bro. This is sick, actually. There's a little, like... Yeah, this is an S. This is an S. I don't care. If I'm like, if I could think of like a sick freestyle or like a rap, like of a, and this is like a rap from the 90s or from the 80s, like, like Dr. Dre could sample this and it would be a hit. That was tight. Yeah, another S tier. All right. We are getting down to it. Lisa Crockett will be next. And then we have the final three, the big three as you can see on your screen. But first, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Lisa Crockett. It's not bad. I'm not sure how it's supposed to like be good walk-up music. I was waiting for something to happen to this song. Nothing happened to it. I'm gonna give it a C. I'm sorry, Lisa. Like it's not bad, like it's decent, but it's just like, there's just not enough really happening for me in this track. Okay, let's move on. That's how it ends. All right, let's move on. We are going to uh, do Keisha first. We'll just go um, Keisha, Pete, and then we'll end with the big guy. All right, Keisha Phillips, how do you sound? A part of me wants to give it an S, but I, I think that it's a soft A at best, honestly. Like, it's a sick, it's a sick song. It's an A, I think, but I'm not sure it pushes past A to S. I think that might be my bias pushing it there if I did. So, it is a sick track, but we're not going to be putting it in S tier today. All right. Pete Wheeler. Is Pete Wheeler S tier worthy? Let's listen to the track and see where are we going to land Speedy Pete. Dude, Pete's music does not slap. It doesn't slap nearly the way he does. This isn't that good. When he's not walking up, when it's not paired with the hope of hitting a Pete Wheeler dinger, it doesn't sound nearly as sick. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I like this style of music. It is my vibe for sure. But just, Pete Wheeler is better than that in my opinion. I'd, I'd feel bad putting that in a C, but man, like... I think Pete Wheeler's music is a C. Let me know in the comments if you think that's crazy. Um, and while we're talking about letting people know in the comments, we are going to end this saw this video with the Pablo Sanchez. You know he's going to be above the S. He is the Super Saiyan tier. He is SS on every level of backyard baseball. But be sure to like this video if you like this sort of stuff. Be sure to comment if you agree with my list, who I screwed up on, who you think I totally screwed the pooch with. Um, yeah, be sure to blow me up in the comments like that. Um, but also, no, this is all this is just for fun. We're ranking music in back here baseball games so uh so keep it light for the most part but i can take some i can take some heat uh but yeah please subscribe to the channel if you like this sort of stuff my name is mckaylin for mac on the mic let's have pablo sanchez we'll make him let's make him uh you know what let's uh let's give him exactly what he deserves like like it's just 
I mean, the years of hitting dingers to this music definitely helps, but my goodness, Pablo Sanchez, S tier on S tier. So there you have our S tiers. Mikey Thomas, Sally Dobbs, Marky Dubois, Gretchen Hasselhoff, Reese Worthington, and Pablo Sanchez. A surprising S tier. I'm not going to lie. I am a little bit surprised at who made it there and who didn't. But I'm glad. I'm glad we got some new names in there. If you haven't heard all these guys' music, I'm, I'm glad you did now. That is fantastic. All right. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.